Don't do Fish market. Okay. The reason why I put fish market is that there's this school with a nice tennis court and it's right near this fish market. I just don't remember the name of the school and how to get there from where I am right now. But we're heading there. We're gonna get a flat session and then we're gonna check out this storm spot today. That is insane. This one might be the craziest one yet. We've been to two so far on this channel. This one looks like it'd be pretty tough to ride. But first things first, let's go to the fish market. market and I know that the school is like two blocks from here I just don't know the name of the school but we're good it's right here oh man and I thought this was open wait it's summer why are you still in school <laughs> what the hell all right uh, backup plan is to check this park across the street this might work it's not the best ground but the positive part about this area it is a slight downhill which was definitely gonna help with some tricks i was just on live on instagram and i was with steven scoots who's another flatland rider and we we're just explaining how it's always good to learn how to hold tricks than to get into them and get out because once you get in if you can't hold it there's kind of no point so this downhill is going to be a little interesting it's a little bumpy we'll try to do a couple of hold tricks not getting in not getting out just practicing balancing not the best floor that's definitely making things a little tough you always want to find a nice incline or downhill that's also smooth it's very hard when the floor is really pitted and there's a bunch of rocks but we'll try to do three tricks and then we're just gonna go straight to the storm spot Head strap is giving me the anti mohawk sometimes. <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's get to the storm spot. I know you guys have been waiting for it. Pulling through with the SD card hookup. So I call you a GoProser before. I'm the GoProser. How do I ride up to a spot with no freaking SD card? This is storm made street spot number three. Well, not number three in life, just on this channel. There's been so many back in the day before we started this YouTube channel that we would go to just because of all the storm stuff and everything. But look at this thing. Look how crazy this thing is. I don't know if you remember watching the other video a week or so ago and that one, the <laughs> little tree got pushed over. Look at this thing, this thing's fat. Look at this tree, bro. This, this is like a, what happens if you wake up in the morning, go get a cup of coffee and you go to your car and there's just a freaking half of a forest on your car and your car is split in half. I'd be like, damn, I got you don't got to pay your car anymore, right? That's it. Benito. If you can get this, that would be something. You think we could do that? It's crazy because all these are always set up to the point where like, I never tried this. Don't do that. Don't do that. I'm sorry? Oh. We're not, we're not getting hurt. We're just taking a photo. No, he, he just went up the concrete. 
Yeah, we're not going to the top. We're just going like no, right. No, 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 no. Don't do that. Because the top says people should not be talking to you. No, no. We're, we wouldn't do anything to harm someone or to to upset anybody. We're just... We no, just, no, no. Please don't do that. We're, No, no, we're not. We're not gonna get here. We do this for a living. Don't do that, okay? Because I'm gonna call the cops. The cops told me that nobody should be talking close to this. That's why there's a yellow tape. Okay. <laughs> All right, I am back at the same spot. It is 6:43 a.m. and I know that they put a lot more caution tape because they drove past here two days ago. It's been almost a week since you saw the last clip, but I just. I haven't been in town and I wanted to make sure that the spot was still here because last time we were here, couldn't ride it because obviously you know why. There's a lot of people there and hopefully they're still sleeping. So I'm gonna see if the, oh yeah, look, the spot's still here so we made it. But there's a lot more cones and caution tape than before. The sun is looking fire this morning as well. One wall ride, I wanted to do it last time but you can see there's a lot of people here before. morning i just take a photo but down to the just the just just photo and that's it man what are they doing awake it's six it's not even seven o'clock yet i thought if i came here this early i'd be in the clear but all i gotta do is move this one cone and try twice tops twice tops i know i can get the wall ride i really want to try it if i can just move the cone and just send it I mean, first try would be awesome, but I just don't know what it feels like. Here's the plan. I'm going to try one right now. If they don't come out, they don't say anything. I'll try two. And I guarantee I can do it in two shots at most. But if they do come out, I'm going to have to leave and come back again. go that was terrible that was terrible oh, that was so bad I really think it has nothing to do with the speed it's just trying to go right These guys are coming out. I gotta do this right now. It has to be this try. All right, here we go. <laughs> there we go. Mission complete. I haven't felt like that since I was a little kid running from security, but it is in front of somebody's house. I'm not trying to do anything more than that. I'm not trying to have a full session there, but we we're able to do the wall ride. That was the whole plan. I didn't want to make a whole video and then not actually do the gap. Job well done. Let's move to the next spot. You gotta love my luck. That spot we were trying to go to in the beginning of the video, as soon as I come back and we're done with the video, it, it opens up, but that's okay. We're gonna film for some Instagram, some TikTok. This is all taken care of. Today's video is done. That's a wrap. And the third, storm spot video is done hoping to see more spots like this not hoping that it does more damage to the community people's houses people's properties cars just in general it is a little sketch when you do see the spot at first because you're like man what if the tree fell on somebody or somebody's car or somebody's house like that's a nightmare but so far everything we saw on the last two storm videos if you haven't watched the one before this it seems that the tree fell in the middle of the street and all the houses were fine nothing crazy they were able to repair the sidewalk and everything is back to normal if there's more spots like that count me in i'm gonna go hunt for them and find them and try to ride them as best i can some of them are more promising than the others but like i said there's a double-edged sword on this there's a good thing for these storms and then there's a bad thing obviously there's more bad than good but the good is that we were able to at least session it and make this wall ride happen even with all the challenges that we had to face with the person living in the house and that's okay be respectful as you possibly can to everybody around you at the end of the day if it's somebody's property it's their rules follow it we just bent them a little bit in order to get the spot going and try to get that wall right i had to do it once that's all i wanted but done 
See you guys in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe, like, leave a comment. Let me know, do you have any spots near you? Did you ever have an experience with a storm where it did something crazy to your neighborhood or built a spot? And if you did, tag me on Instagram and I'm sure that other people can go check my tagged photos and see these clips. I'd love to see it. Really curious because every spot's real creative and different. But that's it. Hold my breath. I'm done talking. And I appreciate everybody watching and subscribing. Notifications on all the good YouTube stuff. And of course, one more time, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.